welcome to Vlogmas Day 17. <music> Shining tonight I have never seen before It makes the snow come alive with the light Like a spotlight on the glistening winter floor And I'm thinking of you And how I'm just nearby I know what I gotta do I must give it a try So won't you come up with me tonight On a Christmas stroll Through a wintry town It's a lovely sight When the city's in this gown So come on and take a Christmas stroll With me tonight We can take a shortcut through the park Walk real close, holding hands there in the dark Good morning everybody, it is Sunday morning, it is 8am and I'm just having my cup of coffee. This new mug is from West Elm. Yeah, just getting the day started, I hear Steven stirring upstairs. Um, last night, after Vlogmas was posted, we just hung out here at the house and had dinner, and then we worked on our puzzle, and I'll show you, we made, look at this hair. It's like so flat to my head. It's like the old Kate uh, Gosselin, like it's flat, and then like a little spiky. Goodness gracious. Um, we worked on our puzzle last night. I'll show you, we got pretty far. We got this bit done, and then this bit, and then we started over here. So we're making a dent in it. We had so much fun. I think like as a couple, it's nice to just sit there like we talked about our day. Look at this hair. There's like all sorts of shenanigans happening. We just talked about our day and just stuff. Yeah, we just hung out and it was super low key. Amanda, you should know Bubba's protected the hedgehog the entire evening. And yeah, that's about it. We're thinking about going on a wine tour. Stephen like scouted them out. They'll be so festive and decorated and I just think it'll be a really, really good time. So that's on the agenda. And then I also noticed that a section of our Christmas tree went out. Um, this like middle, do you see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It went out this morning when I lit it on. Oh God. I don't know what to do, but I can't let it go. You know it'll drive me crazy. I'll just have to go buy a new tree. No, I'll check it out. This section right here is out. So irritating. It'll drive me literally bonkers until it's fixed. All right, so we are just gonna chill out, drink coffee, talk about our plan for the wine tour, and then we'll get ready and hit the road. Are you going for a walk? Are you going for a walk? Like a diamond. Now it don't even seem like you're trying So give me one good reason I should need you oh, oh, oh. I'm supposed to be getting ready, but I can't stop singing And it's because of Kelly Clarkson That new album, I know I talk about it all the time, but it's so good
just got a ready for the day. I am slightly irritated because I really want to wear this black scarf um, and I've worn the white thermals, my camel coat, and a different pair of like distressed skinny J brand jeans and my John Varvatos boots. And I know that this scarf is going to get all over this white thermal, but I just like the way it looks. And then on my coat, I have this little gold piece pin on the lapel. Now I'm going to play the Christopher Christmas playlist. If you're not following it, it is linked in the description box. So I'm going to hop on Instagram and post a picture of Steven, and you guys can ask him any question. So the first question is, what is your favorite memory with Christopher? Probably one of our trips, I would say. I would say maybe hanging out in Portugal, in Eskimos, um, in the castle. That was a good memory. Maybe just like uh, having dinner together in Charlotte, you know, in our old house. Um, you love that house. I know, I, I love our first house. I'm what curious. is your favorite thing about me? Um, the fact that you're so loving and kind and um, you are, you, you're very compassionate um, and um, you never are, are negative and you yell or scream. Uh, at me. I just get usually. passive aggressive. Yeah, and silent. Get, yeah, but you don't. We, we never fight. Use one word to describe each other. I have mine for you already. My word for Steve would be grounding because I can like get like really crazy lofty ideas or like take things way too seriously or overanalyze, and he like definitely grounds me. I'd say fabulous. You guys asked what Steven's job is. He's a lawyer. What is your least favorite and favorite part of me having a YouTube channel? Um, least favorite is sometimes you chase me out of the house or out of the downstairs when you're filming. Um, and sometimes you take a lot of time to edit. Steven and I just wrapped up at the first winery and we ended up with six. How many bottles? six bottles of wine when it's only 23 degrees outside. Not everyone's here for the winery tours. Um, so it wasn't crowded at all. So we were able to like really talk to the guy. He was able to take his time with us, but um, leaving with six bottles of wine, which in my book is never a bad day. Do you like luxury bags as much <laughs> as I do? The only luxury bag that I um, use is probably Bubba's poop bags. Um, that's the only bag that I usually use. Do you have the same love for skincare and fragrances? No. Um, as uh, I previously have stated, I use Dove Body Wash and Vaseline Intensive Care Lotion. And that's it. Janelle asks if we could live anywhere, where would we live? And I think I know the answer. Uh, Scottsdale? Maybe, yeah, I would say Scottsdale or Carefree. Yeah, yeah, North Scottsdale. Yeah. Um, Steven and I both have a dream that we will retire in Arizona. We love it there. Our favorite place is Bol the Boulders in Arizona. We've been there a couple times now. We absolutely love Arizona. Oh, they have like all these wreaths and trees up. They have a little kitty cat here. He's sleeping. Oh my goodness, he's too cute. It's an old cat. Oh my goodness, hi. I would love a cat. Oh God, with bubbles, I don't think so. Yeah, look at him. <laughs> oh my goodness, and you match my outfit. This place is so festive. I love it. Look at these glasses I found. They are hysterical. We're at a place called Goose Watch and there's a big goose on the hill. You can actually hear some geese in the background. And then there's the beautiful lake. Oh look, how fitting. We're at Goose Watch and there are some geese flying. 
Steve and I were just talking about like how this is such a wonderful day and we're having such a good time. It's so rare that we just do like these little things on our own and we're really enjoying ourselves and it's not crowded at all. Steven just pointed out this sign sitting beside my husband. I said, I love you. He replied, is that you or the wine talking? I said, it's me talking to the wine. Kelly, we're gonna make a switch. Okay. Last minute to the cider. Okay. I just feel like we have choice. to try it. And Kelly, can I talk about the fact that you're reading The Woman in Cabin 10? Yeah. Oh my God, I love that book. It is oh, so good. I'm you halfway are, through. You are going to love it. So I'm like, okay. Like I you have like, to read Ruth Ware's continue. other books. They're so good. So it, it is actually, someone got it for me because I bought uh, In a Dark Dark Wood. And if you like that like psychological thriller yes. thing, there's ones called Behind Closed Doors. I don't think it's by Ruth Ware, it might okay. be, but it is so stinking good. Behind, Behind Closed, closed doors. doors. Steven and I just ended at our third winery, right? Yes. And we have bought 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 bottles of wine. I don't even know. I think we've bought 14 bottles of wine. Um, we're having a really, really great day together. Um, and I also just met this lovely lady named Kelly at Goose Watch Winery. And she was reading The Woman in Cabin 10, so we had a whole conversation about it. And she was so lovely, and she took such good care of us. Um, and now we're just on our way. We'll probably do two more. Yeah. We'll probably do two more wineries, and then head home to Bubba's. So, one of the questions that you've been asked is, have you always wanted to be a lawyer? No. No, I did not. So what'd you want to be? An architect. Oh, that's right. I knew that. Yeah. Steven is a hottie. Does he go to the gym and work out like you do? <laughs> I used to, um, but... Um, Answer it honestly. No, I mean, I, when I was in the army, and I had to do physical training every day, and then I just was like, no, forget it. Are you guys going to get any more doggies for Bubba's? No, absolutely not. He would be jealous and it would not go well. You guys are so beautiful together. You inspire us all to truly find that one best friend who will love you for who you are. Well, that's a crock. <laughs> Bubby, we're home. Bubba's, we're home. There you is. Hi. We missed you. I picked up a corksicle. It's one of Oprah's favorite things. Nine hours cold, three hours hot, and it's a stemless wine glass with like a little thing right there. So I picked up one of these. It was $20 for this copper rose gold one. Steven is bringing in the rest of the wine. I'm gonna throw in some comfy clothes, get some lunch for both of us, and then start editing this footage. Nothing is worse than having hours of footage when you're trying to trim it down to a 12 to 18 minute video. So I'm going to start attacking that um, this afternoon and I will catch up with all of you after that. It is now around five o'clock and Steven is working on fixing the tree and we're just going to lay low. We ate a really late lunch since we got back so late. So we're probably going to work on the puzzle and watch a little TV and that's about it. But a lot of you asked what this looks like at night from the other side of the window. So I got some footage of that and I'm gonna insert it right here. Some of you asked what the kitchen window looks like from the outside, here you go. I don't know if I like that setting on the lights. I'm gonna maybe switch it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, it still looks just as beautiful. You can see the red tree too. So I just think like the combination of the, oh, look at that view. You get both, you get Bubby walking, but you get both trees. You have the kitchen window now that's such a focal point. Just really pretty. I love my house. In the meantime, I will leave this vlog like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, bye bye. No, I can't wait for the weekend. Waking up next to you. Sharing our secrets, making dreams come true. Let's have a toast for the love.